When you're flicking through these magazines, you're going to want to think, what can I afford? What's available to me? Well, choose your material, see what it is that you want, make it fit with the garden style you have, and then you can sit down and come up with some form of calculation and understanding of what it may cost you to have in store. Best way to start is your surface. Once you've got your surface, your natural stone, your porcelains, your cobbles, whatever it is you want, you can then start working out that cost in reverse. You've got to think about things such as digging it out in the first place, getting rid of that material that you may have. Do you do it on yourself? Do you actually need machinery? You've also got to think about the backfill. So you have hardcore or sub base, which we call MOT, and that's got to be put back in as your base but then there's other things underneath that that have to go in. So I'm just going to show you a few bits of information that will help you price that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to actually draw to scale your patio area. If you use something like quite old fashioned but effective, some graph paper, draw it on and then you can calculate the square meterage that you have or you want to put into your garden. From there, we can work out all the volumes start with you're going to need to work out how much mortar you need you're going to also need to know how much hardcore you're going to have and also how much soil you're going to need to take out there's some really good websites out there such as the paving expert have loads of kind of online calculators and all you have to do is type in the square meterage and it will tell you how much sand and cement you might need how much hardcore you might need and how much excavations you're going to need use those they're going to take a lot of the guesswork out of it and then you can work out how much those things are going to cost you. Golden rule, always allow between 5 and 10% extra when you're budgeting for the amount of paving you're going to have. That allows for any mistakes that might occur or if you want to make something a little bit bigger, you've got the materials to do so. So with the information about your materials and the calculations you've done, it will give you a pretty good understanding of the type of budget you will need for your materials, and also possibly for your excavation costs. That's great if you're going to be installing the garden yourself. If however, you're going to want someone else to come along and put that in for you, then at least you've got some informed understanding of what the material costs may cost you. All you need now is how much it's going to cost for them to actually install it and build it for you. There are lots of little pitfalls that you may not know about. You may not know about drains, drainage pipes, electrics you might want to have put in. All that information will actually come from an installer that will help you. So if you're confident with your DIY, you've got your quantities, you've got your budget. If you're not, contact an installer and let them help you get that price right.